So you'll want to buy a Diamond DA42 Twin Star. It is a twin, I swear, but I'll get back to that. It is a diamond, which means it has gigantic wings, 44 and a half feet, just about a foot shorter than a King Air 90. So completely forget about your T-hanger. The cabin, however, is not King Air-like, more like a Volkswagen Golf. The first time I flew a Twin Star, I stood up on the wing, and when the canopy opened, it looked like a dollhouse inside. The leg room wasn't bad after sliding the adjustable rudder pedals all the way forward, but there wasn't enough room between my bean and the canopy for the band of my ordinary headset. For reference, I'm this big. Anyway, it's a long-winged, small cabin twin, but it is a twin. Did I mention that? Remember that when you look at this. Weird, right? Doesn't really look like twin performance. That's because I'm lying. This is the performance of a 1967 Mooney M20C. But watch closely while I switch it to the actual twin star. Did you catch the difference? It's hard to detect. The twin star's claim to fame is the fuel burn. Around 14 gallons an hour, which is just half of your Barons and 310s and Seneca's average. But it's only delivering the performance of a middle of the road single, and for a very similar fuel burn to those planes. You could argue that Diamond is better than those middle of the road singles for any number of reasons, but Diamond's own singles apply here too. The DA50 outperforms the DA42 in every category and burns less fuel. So this looks like a single. It quacks like a single, but it's a twin. So what is that second engine actually going to cost? Allow us to learn. The DA42 has three families of engines. The Thealert, Lycoming, and Astro. We're going to start with Diamond Started with the Thealert, specifically the second edition 2-liter Thealert, the THE0299. The Lycoming and Astro engines are different animals altogether, and we'll talk about those another day. So it's about the same price as a similar performing single. But you are unlikely to find a similar performing single in this price range with a G1000. Insurance is about regular for a half a million dollar hull multi-engine retract, plus or minus 50% based on your experience. Parking these Condor wings indoors is expensive. Annual and maintenance price includes the other time-sensitive items like the high-pressure fuel pumps, gearbox oil, and propellers. Reserve is the downfall. These engines must be replaced at 1,500 hours or 12 years. That's about a $60,000 job. You have to fly 125 hours every year just to reach that time before replacement. If you fly just 50 hours a year, you only get 600 hours in before those engines must go, making the reserve cost $100 an hour. The cost to operate decreases rapidly until you reach 125 hours per year and then decreases normally after that. The summary is, in my opinion, the fact that this is a twin is not worth the extra bucks over a similar performing single. You could buy that M20C Ranger for $70,000. It's even cheaper to operate a regular Beach, Cessna, or Piper twin at 100 hours a year. And those planes will spend a lot less time over the same distance going 50 knots faster. So, the early DA42s are pretty attractive with their purchase price, low fuel burns, and fancy panels. But there's a good reason why these engines are so unpopular and why Diamond ditched them. Stay tuned for videos on Lake Homings and Astro versions of this plane, because that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and thanks for visiting the store. See you in the next.